Here we will give an overview of the function of each button and menu. In the second part, we will describe each menu and setting procedure in detail. Before installing your automatic flushing device, it is highly recommended that you flush the water line free of debris before attaching the unit. The curved arrow button is the main menu button. This will allow you to maneuver from one menu to the next. The right and left arrow button will allow you to maneuver between each section within a current viewed menu. The plus and minus button will allow you to change the setting within each section of the current viewed menu. Each controller has an automatic sleep mode. To wake up the controller, you will push the main menu button. In order to move through the menus easier, you may want to start at the home menu that shows the current time, day number, and battery life. You will press the main menu button to move to the next menu. The second menu allows you to set the current time and day of the week. To maneuver through any menu, you will use the right and left arrow keys. To change a setting within the menu, you will use the plus and minus keys. Again, to maneuver from one menu to the next, you will use the main menu button. The third menu allows you to set the flushing start times. You will have the option to flush up to nine times per day. The fourth menu allows you to set the duration of flushing time or the length of flushing. The fifth menu allows you to set the days of the week that you would like to flush. And the sixth menu will allow you to completely shut off your controller without affecting your previously set options. In this tutorial, we will describe how to set each menu and setting procedure in detail. Before installing your automatic flushing device, it is highly recommended that you flush the water line free of debris before attaching the unit. To set current date and time, press the main menu button to wake up controller. Then press the main menu button until the current time date icon is displayed. The current hours will be flashing. Press the plus or minus button to change the setting to the desired hour. Now press the right arrow button to switch the minutes indicator. Minutes will be flashing. Use the plus or minus button to change the setting to the desired minute. Now press the right arrow button to switch to AM, PM, or 24 hour, hour military time mode. Cupfully recommends using the AM, PM setting. Now press the right arrow button to proceed to set the day of the week. The number one will be flashing. Use the plus or minus button to maneuver through days of the week. Cupferly recommends setting the controller to the specified day to easily set, maintain, and troubleshoot your controller. Sunday marks the first day of the week. For example, if today is Wednesday, the number should be set on four. To set flushing start times, press the main menu button until the start time icon is displayed. Press and hold the plus or minus button to change the start time. Press the right arrow button to select the next start time. You will be able to select up to nine flushing times per day. To eliminate a start time, press the right arrow button until the selected flush number is displayed. Press the plus or minus button until you reach off located between 11.55 p.m. and 12 o'clock a.m. midnight. To set the duration of flushing time or the length of flushing, press the main menu button until the current time day icon is displayed. The display will flash the flushing duration time. Press and hold the plus or minus button to increase or decrease length of flushing time. Duration of flushing time can be set from one minute up to four hours. Press the main menu button until the current days icon is displayed. On the days of the week menu, you will see water drops and the numbers 1 through 7. Each number represents a day. Sunday marks the first day of the week, Monday for 2, Tuesday for 3, and so on. 
The open water drop icon represents an on flushing day. The closed water icon with a slash represents an off flushing day. Press the minus button to cancel flushing on that day or plus to allow flushing on that day. When pressing the minus or the plus button, the cursor will automatically move to the next day or you can press the right arrow key to advance to the next day. Repeat step two until all desired days for flushing have been selected. All of your changes will be automatically saved. Press the main menu button twice to end at the home menu. Allow your controller to sleep on this menu only. Controller shut off mode. The last menu will allow you to completely shut off your controller without affecting your previously set options. However, please remember this is a shut off mode. If you allow your controller to go to the off mode or fall asleep at this menu, the controller will shut down and will not run your set program. This menu is available for any period of time where flushing has to be stopped over a long period of time. The unit can be shut down without losing any settings. When on the shutoff menu, after waiting a few seconds, you will see the words off flash. Once this happens, leave the controller as it is and it will go into sleep mode. The controller will have to sleep within this menu to be successful in shutting down. When flushing is ready to resume, the controller will need to wake up. You can wake up the controller by pressing the main menu button. Let the controller fall asleep on the home menu and your previously scheduled program will resume. Conducting manual test flush. When conducting a manual test flush, you will need to press the main menu button and go to the home menu. This will show you the current time, battery life, and day of the week. Press and hold the right arrow button until you see a small open hand on the left side. Once you see the hand, release the button and the controller will count down 10 seconds until the test flush begins. The controller will run for as long as the duration set time is scheduled. If you do not want to wait for the test flush to end, you can either press the minus button to decrease the flush time, or you can press the main menu button to maneuver to the shutoff menu and let the controller fall to off mode. Please do not forget that once the controller shuts off, wake up your controller again by hitting the main menu key. Otherwise, your controller will not flush during the regularly scheduled times. Allow the controller to fall asleep on the main menu to continue your regular scheduled programming.